I really do enjoy playing the piano. You know, it makes me really very happy. And so I thought I would share some of the things that make the Hashix happy today. So I'm wondering how you are doing. So I, in a moment, I'd like you to pause the video and think about how you're feeling today. What I'm going to find out where the rest of the Hashix are. See you now. Look guys, I found Ryan. Hi Ryan. Hi mom. What are you doing? I'm playing in the circuit. That sounds so much fun. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel happy. Oh, isn't that cool? Ryan, what would happen if it started to rain? And if the rain washed all of your sandpit creations away, how would you feel? Oh, that would make me sad. Oh, wouldn't that be terrible? That's <coughs> horrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. And look here. Hi, we, ha Mom. we have Jordan. Isn't it good to see Jordy? What have you been up to? I've been riding my bicycle around the house. That is so much fun. And tell me, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel happy. Oh, another happy boy. But George, what would happen if you got a puncture <coughs> and your wheel popped and you couldn't run around anymore? How would you feel then? Oh, that would make me sad. Oh, another sad story. <coughs> I'm really sorry to hear that. Hmm. I wonder if we can find Daddy. Shall we see what Daddy's up to? Look, here's Uncle Calvin. Oh, hi everyone. I'm getting ready to go fishing. Because fishing really makes me happy when I catch lots of fishies. But sometimes you go out and you don't catch anything. That makes me sad. Wow, guys, did you see how quickly they change from being happy to sad? In like three seconds. Goodness, that is a bit worrying for me. I would like to see what God has to say about our happiness. Come, let's have a read. Hebrews 12 verse 2 is going to give us the answer. Let's have a look. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Did you guys pick up that word joy? You know, I want you to come have a look at a picture for me. When Jesus died on the cross, it certainly was not a happy experience. They mocked him. That means they teased him. They made fun of him. They beat him. I don't think he felt very happy. In fact, I think he was in a lot of pain. And I think it was sore. And I think a lot of the time he felt very sad. He really wasn't feeling happy. But we pick up a word in that verse that is joy. And Jesus' joy was determined by his relationship with God. He had an end goal in mind. He knew he, had, he was going to spend the rest of his days in relationship with God. So whether he was happy or sad wasn't really the thing. It was good to be happy. No one likes to be sad. But God was, Jesus was okay. Okay means I have the strength to get through today in spite of what I'm going through or how I feel. That is actually the difference between being happy and being okay and being joyful. An underlying joy that comes from our relationship with Jesus. Jesus is our joy bringer. Happiness is dependent on what I go through, what, I, what someone says to me, what happens, like what happened to Jordan and Ryan, Uncle Calvin, those kind of things. You know, examples for us would be uh, when the government delays the grade sevens and matrix going back to school for another week, or we're not allowed to go to the beach even though it's a beautiful day, or I want to have my friends over for a birthday party, but I can't because we have to be quarantined or isolated, social distancing, all those kind of things that are happening. And a lot of the time we are actually feeling sad. But that does not mean that we don't have to have joy we need to live with that joy that Jesus showed when he died on the, in that verse that I, I, I read about him dying on the cross. You know, 
I, I know you might be saying, how can I do this? Well, we need to start our days with Jesus. We need to read God's word. We need to ask God to change our hearts. We need to ask God to change our attitude. We don't want to be emotional people that live on happiness and sadness. We want to be people that are filled with joy, Jesus joy that I can get through with strength that comes only from God alone. When our attitudes and emotions are determined by uh, the joy that God brings, we live in a different frame of mind. And an, an idea for doing that is, do you guys remember the worry jar that we spoke about a few weeks ago? Well, one thing you could do is you could pop an emotion in, and an experience into your worry jar when you get angry or sad or, or afraid, any of those emotions, that, or when you're not feeling happy, when you want to feel, feel joy and you pray about that thing immediately then and there. And I'm almost certain that God is going to give you an underlying joy where you will know that God is in control even when you don't feel like it. Come, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you that you are the ultimate joy bringer. Thank you that you have this amazing thing where we can know that we are okay even though we don't feel okay. When we don't feel ha happy, we feel sad. And I really pray that we will come to know the, the joy that you bring by knowing you. We pray this in your name. Amen. Well, boys and girls, I would love you to do two things for me this week. The first thing I would love you to do, I would love you to learn this verse. Come have a look with me. I would love you to learn Nehemiah 8 verse 10 that says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. And I would love you to go through each day knowing that God is in control and He will give you the joy that He, he alone can bring. That's the first thing. So I'd love you to learn Nehemiah 8 verse 10 and learn to live by that. The second thing is just for fun, but I would love you to send me a photograph of you doing something that makes you happy. Wouldn't that be cool to see your happy faces again because I really miss you all. Well, I hope you've had a good time with our Hashik family learning the difference between happiness and joy. Have a great day and a wonderful week. See you next time and I think I have a surprise for you. Bye!